What's up guys and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be testing Path of Exile on the M1 MacBook Pro with 16 gigs of RAM. And the game has full Mac support, so you can just easily download it from the Steam store. And it's even free to play, so perfect for anyone who wants to give it a try. And the look and the feel from the game reminds me a lot of Diablo or Titan Quest and it's actually a lot of fun so if you own a macbook um, i would really suggest you to try it out and i'm already inside here in the game i open the graphic settings and i let for the beginning everything to default vertical sync is turned on because it makes the game a lot smoother and the rest everything is to default Texture filtering is also to two times, was already like that in the beginning. Um, dynamic cooling is turned off because sometimes can give graphic glitches, so yeah. So as you can see, we have really stable FPS, we are having around 92, 90 at the moment, in some areas even like around 100, almost 120, so you can definitely say the game runs really smooth on the M1 MacBook. Here are like those Altar Shrines that you can activate and then after that come a lot of enemies monsters and it's kind of a little bit like a stress test as you can see the FPS already go down because there are like a lot of enemies but the M1 MacBook handles it really well now you've seen on default settings it runs really nice and let's try out to put the graphics a little bit higher gonna put anti-lazing to high lightning to shadows plus global illumination texture filtering I'm gonna set it to 16 times and let's see how many FPS we get <laughs> So as you can see with these graphic settings we already get like purple glitches sometimes and um, because the graphic is already too high and it's not such a good experience anymore with these settings I wouldn't recommend anyone to play like this. So I'm gonna activate one more time that shrine to see how our frames are gonna drop. there were moments when I got really laggy I'm gonna turn off vertical sync because that usually impacts the FPS a lot just to show you guys it doesn't make any difference at all 
it even makes it feel worse, to be honest. Um, so I would definitely let it turn on, even with those high settings. So yeah, anyways, I suggest you to just let the graphics how they were in the beginning, just let them to default, because they actually already give you the best graphic options. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe it helped you to know how well it runs before you install the game and just waste time. And maybe check out also my other videos of games tested on the M1 MacBook Pro. And I hope to see you maybe in the next video. And let me know in the comments below what game I should test next.